As we continue our work this week, uh, bringing in leaders from other parts uh, or all parts of central Arkansas after the storm, uh, glad to join, be joined by Jacksonville Mayor Jeff Elmore here on 630 Central. I've been asking everybody who's come in, Mayor Scott, uh, folks from the Red Cross, how you holding up at this point? Uh, actually, our people were doing remarkably well. In, in light of all things that have happened, uh, there's been great progress that's been made. Uh, we've seen some positivity come from a negative situation, and our people are doing, like I said, just remarkably well. We had uh, Jalissa Garza out there speaking with you earlier yes. today. Um, it's hard from TV monitors like we've got here to get an idea of the scope. Uh, draw a word picture for us, if you can, for what's going on in your town. A three mile long path of destruction bottom line, uh, stretching east to west, going across the town. Uh, close to 200 homes destroyed, businesses, churches. Uh, this storm was non-discriminant. I mean, so uh, it hit anything and everything you know, in its path. But uh, our people are resilient. It's good to hear. Um, how many are displaced and what are we doing for those families, those individuals? Uh, there are, I do not have an actual number of displaced families, but those that are, are staying in local hotels, staying with friends, family. Uh, there's a church in town that is hosting families and uh, putting them up, feeding, providing uh, resources that are needed during this time for anyone and everyone who was involved. How's your capacity for that? Is, is there space? It's a crisis that's going to be coming to the city is, is finding places for people to move to. Yes, and that is one of the hardest things that we're going to have to deal with is where do these people go long term? Where do they go? And then currently, where are they you know, short term? Within the church, yes, there is plenty of space for them to stay. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the hotels in our town and surrounding areas you know, booked up very quickly. And you've got uh, energy people coming in, you know, power linemen and so forth, and you know, they have a place to stay too. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of competition for limited rooms. So we know there'll be efforts that'll have to be made going Absolutely. forward here in the mid and the longer term. Uh, one of the spots uh, we saw Julissa's report earlier that uh, took a direct hit, Dupree Park. Uh, yes. uh, it sounds like a place that's important to the community. Uh, what's its status right now? Uh, Dupree Park is a vital uh, part of our community. It hosts festivals, events, uh, just quality of life for our residents, a place for them to go and have fun. But it also, we host generally 40 to 44 uh, softball or baseball tournaments a year there. And that's, you know, 44 weekends of, you know, being tied up. And so that's not going to be happening for a little while. We are working now to repair the park. It's going to take a lot of work. There was significant damage to it, so it won't be the same as it was, but we're going to make it better. And you had renovation plans on the board anyway. Yes, there, there were some renovations had just been completed, which is the hard pill to swallow <laughs> with this. But uh, yes, it's, it's going to be good. Um, what are the immediate needs that you have right now? I've talked to the Red Cross. They say money. Salvation Army, they say money. The city, mm -hmm. though, Little Rock, they need uh, food. Mm -hmm. what, what does Jacksonville need right now? Jacksonville right now, the biggest problem we have is going to be housing mm -hmm. and finding a place for people to go. Like I said, short term and long term. As many of these houses were rental houses, which were destroyed. And so you've got a limited market. And so it's just that's going to be the, the challenging part is, you know, balancing with these people's lives and, you know, finding them a place um, to take root from there, you know, moving forward. Um, you're a, a city that uh, has a huge federal government installation yes. right in the middle of it. How much cooperation have you seen from the air base and uh, how much uh, back and forth has to go on but to get everybody there settled in? The air base has been great. Uh, Colonel Ochoa, base commander, was in contact with me just hours after the storm offering resources and uh, manpower, whatever you know they could do or what we could use. And so they've been fantastic. And, you know, we're very proud to have them as a partner in our community. Tremendous stuff. Well, Mayor Elmore, we appreciate you coming in. As you mentioned, we know this is going to have to be a continuing mm -hmm. conversation, and we will continue to have it. But uh, best of luck to you, Thank you. as we uh, move forward.